Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky a legitimate military target, Medvedev. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, as the leader of a hostile political regime, is a legitimate military target, Dmitry Medvedev, the head of Russia's Security Council, has said. Speaking to TASS, Medvedev said that the question of Zelensky's legitimacy as president is of no particular importance to Moscow. For Russia, the final loss of legitimacy by the pseudo-president of the former Ukraine will not change anything. The former Russian president said, noting that the leaders of countries waging war are always considered a legitimate military target. Medvedev called Zelensky a war criminal who should be caught and brought to justice or liquidated as a terrorist for his crimes against Russians and Ukrainians. Zelensky appeared on the Russian Interior Ministry's wanted list earlier this month, though no data has been released about criminal proceedings against him. The constitutional powers of the current Ukrainian president expired on May the 20th. A presidential election was originally scheduled for March, but was postponed under the pretext of martial law, which was imposed after the start of the conflict with Russia in February 2022 and has repeatedly been extended by the nation's legislature. Zelensky announced in December 2023 that no presidential or parliamentary elections would be held as long as martial law remains in force. In early May, lawmakers prolonged martial law by another three months. According to Medvedev, Zelensky effectively seized power in the country after elections were annulled. He spat on the constitution of his country, ignored the constitutional court, and did not even extend but usurped the supreme power. Medvedev argued, adding that Zelensky covered himself with an inarticulate declaration of the Verkhovna Rada on the abolition of presidential elections in times of war. In March, Ukrainska Pravda claimed, citing members of parliament, that Zelensky had virtually stripped the legislature of its powers and established de facto personal rule. Kremlin spokesman Dmitry Peskov said recently that a moment will come soon when many people, including those inside Ukraine, will question President Zelensky's legitimacy. This does not mean bombing Russia. Estonia called for sending NATO troops to Ukraine. According to Estonian Prime Minister Kai Kalas, NATO countries should not be afraid that sending troops to Ukraine to train Ukrainian armed forces, soldiers, could drag the alliance into a war with Russia. She told the Financial Times that there are countries that are already training soldiers on the ground, and they were doing so at their own peril. The Prime Minister is convinced that if the occupiers attack training personnel, this will not automatically trigger NATO's Article 5 on mutual defence. I can't imagine that if someone gets hurt there, those who sent their people will say, this is Article 5, let's bomb Russia. That's not true, it's not automatic. Therefore, these fears are unfounded. If you send your people to help the Ukrainians, you know that there is a war in the country and you are going into a risk zone. Therefore, you are taking a risk, explained Kalas. As noted, Ukraine needs to recruit and train hundreds of thousands of military personnel in the coming months. It would be more efficient to do this on the territory of our country and not transport soldiers and weapons to Poland or Germany and back. European leaders have begun to change their position as Russian troops outgun and outnumber the defense forces and Ukraine is finding it difficult to maintain its defensive lines. General Chuck Brown, chairman of the US Joint Chiefs of Staff, suggested that the Europeans will eventually get more troops into Ukraine. Russian propaganda is aimed at war with NATO, so they don't need excuses. Whatever we do on our side, if they want to attack, they will attack, Kalas emphasized. Estonia is known to be one of Ukraine's strongest supporters and Kyiv's largest military donor when measured as a share of gross domestic product. The country's prime minister noted that Ukrainian allies do not have a common goal. Some like Estonia, want victory for the Ukrainian armed forces, but others are focused on ensuring that Ukraine does not lose. If you don't have a goal, you don't have a strategy. You don't have tactics on how to achieve that goal. And that's what worries me. Some people say Ukrainians shouldn't lose. Others say we should work for Ukraine and victory. But this is not the same thing. We may only have a goal, victory, but Ukraine will determine what kind of victory this is. Kalas concluded, recently the New York Times published an article stating that NATO allies are getting closer to sending military personnel to Ukraine to train Ukrainian troops.
Слушай.